Hello friends, Tanya here with another video for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to do a single layer card with some metallic watercolor paints. We're going to start out with some black watercolor paper. This is um, Stonehenge black 140 pound cold press cardstock. Well, cold press watercolor paper, sorry. It is not cardstock. It is a beautiful deep black color. I am putting it in my um, Misty and used an anti-static powder tool to make sure that my embossing powder doesn't stick to this cardstock in any funny places. Next, I'm taking the Juicy Watermark and Embossing Ink and inking up this fun stamp set from uh, Trinity Stamps called Warm Hearts. It is one of the Love Danny series and it is beautiful. We're going to use some clear embossing powder on this cardstock and I am trying to be really careful about getting just the areas I want covered with embossing powder. Watercolor paper can be a little tricky when it comes to embossing powder and on black even more so. Black will show so many more things than white cardstock especially if you're doing clear embossing. So then I'm going to use my heat tool and get that nice and hot and melt all of that embossing powder until we have a shiny raised edge where the stamping was. And this will help corral our watercoloring in the near future here. <laughs> the the uh, entire image is all nice and heated and now I can move on to the watercoloring. You can take a microfiber cloth and wipe off your anti-static powder in order to make that nice and crisp. I did not do that here. Next I'm pulling out some metallic watercolors here. These were carried for a time in the Trinity store. These are by Hydra Color and you can find those on Etsy now. But this is one of the samplers and it has a full rainbow of colors which made this super easy because of course we're going rainbow. I am going to use a number four, a size four round watercolor brush. It has a nice pointed tip. And to rehydrate these colors, I added just a drop of water on each of these little pans and let them sit just long enough for me to get all of my pieces in order. I'm going to start out by painting the heart red. And yes, I did record all of the painting. Maybe you don't wanna see the whole thing feel free to rush ahead. But I thought it might be fun to watch this metallic watercolor paper, or sorry, wa metallic watercolor paint come to life on this black cardstock. I had watched a video about two weeks ago that Christina Werner did that showed color watercoloring on black watercolor paper. And I've always wanted to do that. I just finally took the plunge and ordered some black watercolor paper. I'm going to go in rainbow order and each of the letters, the U warm, there are just enough for one of each of these colors to be a letter. And in order to help manage the amount of paint on my brush, I'm tending to go to the larger areas first and I'm trying to minimize the times that I have to change colors. So I'm trying to do all of one color at a time. So far we've gone through red, orange, and now I'm working on the yellow. I'm doing the scarf sections in each in a different color, trying to go in rainbow order. I'm also doing the same on the ribbing for the hat. And I'm finding that my pointy number four brush isn't quite small enough. So I'm going to use this number one brush, which is really tiny. It has a very long uh, set of bristles on it, but it works beautifully for those little tiny letters in the U warm part. Again, just going along in order, I am still using that little, no, I think I switched back for the, to the size four brush for the larger parts and just use that very fine brush for those little tiny letters. Now I am also using that small brush to pick up any watercolor that I get where I don't want it. And it picks up quite easily, which makes 
keeping this a neat and tidy image very easy because you can just go back and pick up where you didn't want the ink to be. We're on to the blue. I love how vibrant all of these colors look on the black watercolor paper. If you haven't played with black watercolor paper, I really recommend you give it a try. Especially if you have some metallic watercolor inks, or sorry, sorry, watercolor papers. <laughs> no, paint. Hmm. Yes, I still stumble over my words. <laughs> We are on to the purple. We only have that and the shimmery white, which isn't actually white. It's a very light green tint to it when you paint it on black. I'm painting the main body of the hat with that color. And now I'm just going to add that last letter. I love how that shows up with the, um, with the clear color going to go back and add those couple of spots that I didn't hit when I was doing each of the colors. I needed a little red and a little purple. I did take my heat tool and finish drying all of that. Now I want to add some spatters. I want it to look like some snowfall. And I thought I could get away with just using that clear color that's on the sampler card, but it I, again, really does have a bit of a green tint. So I came back with some liquid pixie dust and spattered some of that on there. And that definitely has a more white hue to it. And that is the painted panel. I'm going to take some coaster blank pieces here and adhere those to the back of that piece of watercolor paper, which really did not warp with all of the watering, watery painting that we did. And I'm going to take this um, rainbow colored ink pad that I have from my stash. You can't actually purchase this one. It came in a kit, but it has a rainbow in it. And it was going to save me a lot of time because I'd be able to just ink this image once. And I wanted to repeat this image on the inside of the card. So I placed this card base, which is a five by seven white card base, inside out, inside of my misty to get that um, image stamped in there and now i'm going to adhere the oh, i'm letting the ink dry a little bit because i don't want it to transfer on to the other side of the card you could have used the modern embossed uh, stacks a7 stacks to cut out this panel but i had just cut it to four and a half by six and a half inches and adhered that to the front of the card base that is my completed card. What do you think? Do you love it? Have you tried doing metallic painting on black cardstock, black watercolor cardstock? Let me know in the description or in, excuse me, in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, now would be a good time. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're interested in any of the supplies that I use today, check out that description box below. Until next time, bye-bye.